Hello and welcome to Board Rack Briefing with me, James Otter of Otter Surfboards. And we're going to talk to you today about one of our wooden surfboards, the Fetch model, which is our 5 foot 10 fish. It comes in at 20 and 3 quarter inches wide and 2 and 3 quarter inches thick. Um, the volume of the board is about 32 to 33 litres. And, um, and I'm going to take you through the shape. We're going to talk about the template and then the, the rails and the way that I came to this surfboard. The idea for it came really early on for me. Um, I was designing and making short boards to try and replicate foam boards. And actually, this board was the first one where I really discovered the, the beauty of making surfboards out of wood. That extra glide and momentum that you get from, from a fish um, and from riding this style of board um, really helps with the way that it surfs in the water. Really, this board, being at 5 foot 10 in length and, and relatively small out of all of our boards, is probably based more for an intermediate surfer going on through expert. Um, and the reason for that is simply because of its kind of smaller size, it's just that little bit trickier to kind of to, to surf itself um, and, and get into waves on. Uh, the type of surf that we've had it in, um, we've had it anything from kind of waist high, because you want a little bit of push in the wave, to kind of head and a half. It's quite comfortable. We've had it out in some, some bigger surf as well. Um, where it seems to handle qu quite nicely um, but of course it's all about getting into waves early once it starts to get a bit bigger. Um, this board, so the outline of it, if we look at the, the way this, this template runs, the front end is fairly tr typical of a traditional fish but then if we look at the way the tail comes in, it doesn't straighten out like a lot of, lot of more, more traditional fish do. It's got a rounded outline um, and that leans back towards the performance side so it just allows you to turn that little bit more smoothly and more easily. Uh, we've still got quite a nice wide tail which generates lift and the bottom contours that run through we've got a big deep kind of concave single concave through the middle which runs then into a, a double concave at the back and that allows us to generate lift when we're up and planing we've got our weight over the middle of the board but the minute we step back on rail on the tail and try and put the board on rail it helps to focus that water through the fin to give us a, um, a really good hold with those fins. As a fish it's designed as a twin fin um, the idea being that when it's flat on the water, it's generating loads of speed. The minute you put it on rail or you, you're in a, a steeper wave face, the, you'll end up just with one fin engaging with the water um, and then the, the one side of the tail, which gives you a really good hold and control. The way the volume's distributed through this board, we've got a good chunk under your chest, because for me, with, with any surfboard, really I want volume under my chest to get into waves early. It's got a fairly relaxed rocker line, um, which again aids in that paddling speed. And then the rails themselves, we've, we've brought that volume out fairly far to the rails. So they're kind of, they sit, in my mind, they sit bang in between a, a pinch rail and a really full rail. Um, they're, they're that kind of sweet spot in the middle there, um, which gives us control, um, but doesn't also kind of make us bump out of waves and, and, and give them that kind of corky feel that you can get from bigger rails. Like I say, we've had it in a, a variety of different surf, and, um, and for me, this, this board, um, it, it goes really well. In my mind, the perfect way for it is kind of a head high and reeling point break, where you want lots of speed, because it generates speed so well, um, and, and it's just so comfortable from going from rail to rail. It's such a smooth, smooth board to surf. You've got a couple of options of how to get hold of one. You can either come and make your own, like Steve did with this one here, or you can have us custom make one for you. And if you'd like to um, find out more about us, you can find us on ottersurfboards.co.uk, follow us on Instagram at ottersurfboards, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please join us again in our, our next round of board rack briefing, where we'll work through one of the other boards in our rack. Thanks a lot.